Every single aquaponics system, big or small, is going to have at least one water pump. But what's out there and how do you know which water pump to buy for your system? Today I'm going to share some tips with you that will really help you when it comes to purchasing and using water pumps. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New Agrarian on YouTube, where we're all about aquaponics, hydroponics, and agriculture. Today's episode is all about water pumps, so let's get started. Whenever you're shopping for water pumps, they're normally going to be put into two different categories, the submersible water pumps and inline water pumps. Each of them is going to have its own advantages and disadvantages. Normally pumps for small scale home aquaponics systems are going to be submersible. The inline pumps normally are for a larger scale commercial farms. This is a sweet water one half horsepower pump. The inlet pipe you can see right here actually is plumbed into the bottom of the bed. I think that that's a good thing to do. That way the pump doesn't have to prime itself. It's just automatically primed with gravity. But what actually describes the power of a water pump per se? Well, whenever you're purchasing a pump, it's going to give you a gallons per hour rating. So this pump right here, this is a 200 gallon per hour little tiny baby pump, not even really that useful. This is a 370 gallons per hour water pump submersible. This one is a 2,700 gallons per hour pump. So quite larger and more powerful than these other two. Which size should you use? I would never purchase anything less than a thousand gallons per hour. Like these little ones, these are good for like aquariums and stuff, but they can't really lift water more than three or four feet high, depending on the diameter here. I would avoid them and I would stick with always a thousand gallons per hour or more. It's easier to buy a pump that is larger <laughs> and scale the flow back with a valve or some larger diameter pipe than to buy a pump that is too small and then it's really not going to give you much flexibility. Pumps with larger gallons per hour, you can do a lot more things with. You can split the water flow into two different directions. It's always better to have just more than you need. In order to sort of maximize the efficiency of your water pump, you always want to keep the distance that this thing is pumping short. If you're pumping this large distances, it's not going to really matter if you have a huge pump. The distance will decrease the efficiency of your pump quite a bit. So will bends in the PVC pipe. So you want to try to keep the pumping straight and short. Another important consideration that you should make when it comes to purchasing these pumps is that your fish tanks should receive their entire volume of water from your pump every hour. So if you have a 300 gallon fish tank, it should be getting 300 gallons of water every hour. That's like the best possible turnover rate. If it's a little less than that, it's going to be fine too, but that's kind of what you should shoot for. This pump, as I mentioned, is a 2,700 gallon per hour pump. It's way more than I need to pump my water up three or four feet, but this pump has been running nonstop for about two years now, 24-7, 365. Another trait of these larger pumps is increased durability. All pumps are going to have an inlet and an outlet. Normally, the inlet is going to be on the front and the outlet is going to be on the top, so the water will shoot vertically. A lot of these pumps, the inlet is adjustable. So this one, you can see the flow is adjustable with this. This is such a cheap little pump. It's really not that good to even have this one. Let's take a look at this one. Again, you have the adjustable flow here. You can buy larger pumps that are set up like this. When it comes to using these things, I really wouldn't recommend using this barbed fitting ever. So I would take this out and I would screw in a PVC adapter and then I would run PVC from this. Flexible tubing isn't really the best in aquaponics systems. If you're doing like drip irrigation, that'd be fine. You just need something durable. I would run PVC pipe out of this. Typically these fronts are gonna come off too. Depending on what you're doing, I wouldn't even run this. This is gonna get clogged, especially with fish debris. This will also chop the fish debris up. It's less of a hassle to just run it with this off for me than it is to clean this out every week. When these things fail, typically it's the little shaft inside here. So this thing also comes off. So you just turn this and this will come out. And this thing is held in here with a magnet. You can take this out, but normally when this fails, this is clogged. So I just like to spin it around with my finger. You can even give it a, this is the one piece of equipment where actually striking it can fix it. She's good to go. And those are some submersible water pump tips. A 2000 gallons per hour pump is more than enough for the home grower with multiple fish tanks, with a plant system. 
2,000 gallons per hour is sort of like a good uh, starting point. Once you start getting into the really large pumps, they're rated in horsepower. If you ever have a pump that's like a fourth horsepower, a half horsepower, those are larger pumps designed for commercial greenhouses. If you're a home grower, a 2,000 gallons per hour pump is going to get you through most situations. And you want only one pump in your system, ideally just for electricity purposes and just efficiency purposes, but you want this at the end of your system. And again, you want the distance that this thing is pumping to be as short as possible. This is another pump that's good to have on hand. This is called a sump pump. The inlet is at the bottom here. This is a great pump to drain things quickly, especially if you're gonna move fish from tank to tank or something and you need to drain one of your tanks, this pump is going to drain it incredibly fast. It's good to have one of these laying around. If you guys need more specific help sizing your pumps, as part of my online course, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching that I can help you with system design, pump design, and setup. If you're interested in that, I'll put the link for my course in the description below. So that's it guys, consider these tips when it comes to purchasing water pumps. If you need more help with your system, click the link in the description below and I would be happy to offer you one-on-one -on -one assistance. Also, if you guys want to support what I do, check out my other channel, Dishes and Fishes. Trying to hit 10,000 subscribers over there. Head over there. Give me a subscribe. Would appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.